because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. We have it so well under control. I mean, view this the same as the flu. Because I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf and believe me. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Once upon a 10 years ago, a beast from the West came to Scotland. They tried the impeachment hoax. And this is their new hoax. He played more golf last year than Tiger Woods. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. We have to work. COVID-19 has taken more than 50,000 lives, according to new data. What's important to note, as always, are the factual numbers in science to not only combat coronavirus, but use this evidence to spot shadow the problem that simply did not have to be. Republicans have used a manufactured party-driven talking point, make it about impeachment, deflect from the truth. Also of note, the same argument could be made for Trump's executive time, where 60% of his workday is allocated to watching television and not holding meetings with anyone. This takes up his day would be better wording from Moscow Mitch. Trump was impeached December 19th. The sham trial, which featured no witnesses because McConnell said so, ended February the 5th. In this time, Donald Trump played. Not two, not three, not four, not five. Not six, not seven. Nope, not even close. Try 19. 19 rounds of golf, fact-checked and verified by USA Today, all this while he was distracted by the impeachment trial. Razvin Chali, it means debunked in Russian, since Mitch McConnell loves Russia. Anyway, the first confirmed case in the US was January 20th, likely behind because the president did not push for aggressive testing. The lower the numbers on coronavirus, the better for his potential re-election this fall. In the month of January to his last outing in the midst of the bleeping pandemic on March the 8th, Trump hit the links 11 times. It's one person coming in from China and we have it under control. This was on January 22nd. The Trump administration says it will now bar foreign nationals entering the United States if they've been here to China in the 14 days before they arrived. Trump's travel restrictions from China was implemented on January 31st via not only CBS for the fake news crowd, but also via the official White House website, White House Gov. The only problem was the virus was already here. This did diddly squat, guys. On March 6th, the president said COVID-19 came out of nowhere. The timeline goes against his own words. The only thing that came out of nowhere via Samuel Jackson. We clearly saw him hit a ball, hook a ball into a lake at Trump National in Jersey. And his caddy told him he found it. It's Trump's cheating on the course. The first reported case of coronavirus in Wuhan, China, was November 17th meeting. From the first date of COVID in Wuhan to the present day, Trump golfed 26 times. It's one person coming in from China. One day it's like a miracle, it will disappear. And we only have 15 people and they're getting better. While he knowingly lied to the public, Trump continued doing his thing. He hosted rallies on January 9th in Toledo, 14th in Milwaukee, 28th in Wildwood, New Jersey, and the 30th, Des Moines, Iowa as well as February 10th, Manchester, New Hampshire, February 19th in Phoenix, February 20th in Colorado Springs, February 21st in Las Vegas, and 28th in Charleston, South Carolina, meaning he packed people in arenas and stadiums knowing full well ahead of time the effects of COVID and discarded human life for re-election. No, I don't take responsibility at all. An estimated 90% of the cumulative deaths in the U.S. might have been prevented by putting social distancing policies into effect two weeks earlier on March 2nd when there were only 11 deaths in the country. The effect would have been substantial had the policies been imposed even one week earlier on March 9th, resulting in approximately a 60% reduction in deaths. Guess where Donald Trump was located? At Trump International Golf Course in West Palm Beach, Florida. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.